Hello everybody. We salute you from a beautiful Monday. What makes our day beautiful? Well, of course, the release of the new Yellowstone episode. The fifth episode of season 4 marks that it's been a month since the new season got released. We cannot believe how time flew by. However, it was absolutely a good time, as we get to see how Yellowstone improves from one episode to another. When we were watching the trauma of the Duttons that almost crippled them in episode 1 of the season, right now, we're watching each one of them not only going after their revenge quest, but also flourishing in their way. At the beginning of the episode, which is titled Under a Blanket of Red, we saw John Dutton, a great but lonely man, trying to keep up with his loneliness on an enormous ranch. We watched a sequence of him doing regular ranch work in silence. However, the silence was so loud that we all felt how lonely John was feeling after the leaving of Casey and Monica. Thankfully, when he returned to his room, he found Beth, waiting for him while reading a book. John was surprised, expecting some major news since it was unlikely for Beth to show up in the house for no reason. However, Beth was there, simply for his father. She felt his loneliness and wanted to be there for him. The move was more than touching, as we watched the strong bond between the father and daughter. The two had a meaningful discussion on the meaning of life and how to find peace. Then, John told Beth that he wishes she outlives him, since he cannot stand the idea of living in a world without her. Beth's answer was iconic as always. The bad ones always survive. Thankfully, by the time we reached the end of the episode, John wasn't alone anymore. There has been a protest by the animal rights activists in front of Casey's office. During the scene, Casey proved that he has no experience in handling a crisis properly as he used violence against the protesters. Naturally, the scene caused outrage, and they had to let John know about the situation. By the time John arrived at the scene, he saw that some of the protesters were already taken under control with handcuffs. He asked who is the leader of the protest and got to meet with Summer Higgins, an activist who never misses an opportunity to protest. At the scene, John asked her what she was protesting, and she answered by saying that they are protesting the state-supported animal farming. John wasn't happy with the answer, and let her know that farming alone leads to the killing of lots of animals, from ants to bugs. How cute an animal needs to be so that you guys would support its rights, he asked. In the aftermath, Summer got arrested upon the order of John. However, back at home, John was struggling with his consciousness, questioning whether he did right or wrong. Eventually, he went to the police station and bailed Summer out. She was surprised, asked him why he did such a thing. John said that he respects the fact that she is fighting for her beliefs, even if he doesn't agree with them. Then, John invited her to the Yellowstone Ranch, telling her that they can get to know each other better by this way. She surprisingly agreed, meaning that from this point on, there is a high chance that we will see John Dutton in a relationship. Then, we watched Casey, Monica, and Tate in the house of Monica's grandfather. Even though it was clear that Casey was there solely for Monica, and would hundred times prefer to be in Yellowstone if it was up to him, the couple was looking peaceful for the first time in months. They watched Tate getting sweat within the tent by the Native American traditions, as everyone was hoping for him to recover from the horrible trauma of shooting someone at such a small age. Then, they decided that they will rent a house nearby, so that they can start over and live happily ever after as a nuclear family, at least for a while. It was a promising scene in all aspects, as Monica and Tate were happier than ever, while prepared to give another chance to this family. Beth, on the other hand, was occupied with her own business. She finally accepted the job offer of market equities, even though John didn't approve it. Then, she proved that she is a force to be reckoned with by making a glorious entrance to the Schwartz and Mayor's office, seven hours away from Montana. She entered her old boss's office without permission and let him know that she is the new boss. The man was baffled at first, and then congratulated her for having a position at Market Equities. However, he had a question. How much did they pay her for this job? Well, Beth's answer was an absolute worth watching. Why would you think I would work for a cause that my family has fought against for a century? Then the man came to his senses and realized that he was doomed. Beth fired him, of course, and his nosy secretary as well, while ordering the office to be moved to Montana. She proved herself to be a true businesswoman once again, who has no mercy for the ones that made her dirty. Last but not least, we watched Jamie being loyal to the Duttons and questioning the guy in prison about Garrett. When he got the answer that Garrett was the one who organized the attacks on Duttons, Jamie was furious. He went home to face Garrett, but there was a surprise waiting for him. 
his old partner and little child were at the home and decided to return to him since he parted ways with John and had a proper John at the state. Janie was pleasantly surprised and welcomed them with open arms. However, this meant that he had to postpone his face off with Garrett. What do you think of Under a Blanket of Red? Did you enjoy the episode? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you soon.